If you've ever wanted to have nachos for dinner, you're gonna love this recipe because we're making healthy nachos that are actually a complete well-balanced meal. But they're also so delicious that you could serve them at a party and your guests will love them. I'm nutrition coach Elaine. Go ahead and say hi and give me a yes in the comments if you love nachos. All right, so we're making roasted cauliflower black bean nachos. And we're actually going to be making two servings. And you can get the full recipe by clicking the first link in the description of the video. Okay, so... The base of this recipe is roasted cauliflower. Now, cauliflower might not sound that appealing to you, but the roasted cauliflower in this recipe is actually really good. So here's what I did. Um, I took a full pack of cauliflower florets, so it's a 12 ounce pack, and it's already washed and cut up, so it makes it super easy. I just chopped some of the th thicker um, florets so that they're thinner and easier to roast. So I laid them out on a pan with nonstick foil and just lightly sprayed some olive oil on top and then roasted them in a toaster oven at 375 for 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I did these ones for 12 minutes and they came out beautifully um, golden brown. Okay, so then once you have them roasted, we're gonna be adding black beans and cheese. So I'm using these black beans and I rinse them in a colander first. Um, and that just gets uh, like it takes away some of the sodium. So it makes it a little bit healthier for us. So we have one cup of black beans. So you're just going to pour it all over. And then for the cheese, we're going to be using the um, light shredded three cheese blend. Um, so this is going to save us a few um, calories as well as saturated fat, and it tastes great, and it also melts really well. So we're going to be using half a cup of the cheese. I'm actually going to start preheating the oven. So then we're going to put these into the oven and just for a couple of minutes until the cheese has melted. So you'll want to sprinkle the cheese all over. And um, they have the, the regular three cheese shredded blend as well at Trader Joe's. Um, but I find it doesn't make that much difference for taste. And you might as well save a few calories and saturated fat. All right, so then you're gonna place them in the oven just until that cheese melts. While that is going, let's talk about the rest of the ingredients. So um, for obviously for nachos, you want some chips too. It's not just gonna be the cauliflower. So we are gonna use blue corn tortilla chips and it's 10 chips per serving. So if we're making two servings, we're gonna be using 20 chips. Um, 10 chips is basically a good handful so you don't necessarily have to count them all out one by one, um, but here is 20 chips here, okay? And then you're also gonna be adding salsa. If you can get pico de gallo, that is the best salsa for this recipe because it's nice and chunky and it works really well with nachos. They didn't have any when I went to Trader Joe's, um, but any of the fresh salsas that you get in the refrigerated section should also work well. So I got this salsa especial. Uh, they have mild and hot, so get whichever one appeals most to you. And then we also have um, avocado. So you're gonna, we're gonna be adding a full avocado. So again, half an avocado per serving. And then you have a couple of optional ingredients as well. If you love spice, then you could get a fresh jalapeno and just chop that up and sprinkle that on top. Um, or you could do cilantro, or you could do both as well. So I'm gonna be doing cilantro. I got this full pack of cilantro, just washed it and chopped it up. And I'm gonna be adding all of the cilantro um, but of course, that's optional. You can add just a little bit or none, depending on your preference. All right, so let's see how it's doing. That cheese is starting to melt. We're going to go another 30 seconds or so. Um, so let me tell you what the numbers look like for this. So per serving, it's 355 calories 
which actually is pretty good for a dinner. Um, and it is gonna give us all of our carbs, fat, and protein. It's 17 grams of protein, which is really good considering this is actually a vegetarian dish. Um, and it's only 574 milligrams of sodium, which is pretty good considering we're having chips and we're eating nachos for dinner. All right. So I want to show you what it's going to look like when it comes out and with all of the toppings. So let's move that aside. Um, I'm actually going to get the avocado ready. So I've already cut it in half and I'm going to score it horizontally and vertically. So that will be ready to scoop out as soon as we grab those um, roasted cauliflower out of the oven. Okay. All right. Sounds like that is ready. Um, and we'll get a plate. All right, so since we're making two servings, you could uh, put it onto two plates for uh, whoever's eating, or if you're cooking for yourself and you wanna save a serving for the next day, you could put half of it on a plate and half of it in a container you store it in the fridge. Um, if you do it that way, then you would take what we're taking out of the oven right now, that's what you would store in the fridge and then add the rest of the toppings the next day. Uh, but if you're serving it at a party or if you're eating it family style with your partner, you can just put it all on one plate and enjoy it that way. So just to make it easy, that's how I'm gonna show you. All right, so this is looking great. All right, so take a look at that. The cheese is nice and melted and it smells really good. Okay. So I'm going to grab a spatula and I'm just going to, the good thing about um, this nonstick foil is that it, it makes it easy to take things out. So actually, I'm going to leave the pan there and it also doesn't really get hot. So I can actually lift it with my fingers and move it over. And then just kind of scoop it out onto the plate. Actually, that works really well. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. All right. And then let's just uh, kind of get that all centered. Wow, this looks good and it smells delicious. Let's move that, that out of the way for you now. All right. So now we'll add those other ingredients that we talked about. So let's start with the salsa. I'm gonna put about half of it on now and then half on top after we've added the other um, ingredients. I'm gonna also add about half of the cilantro. And you know what, this actually is a lot of cilantro. I might save some of my cilantro uh, for another dish later. I feel like I only need a handful here. Okay, let's do our avocado. And now that I've scored it, it makes it super easy just to scoop it out. And by the way, if you need an avocado um, to be ripened quickly, the best way to do that is to put it in a little brown paper bag with a banana or an apple and then just fold over the top and leave it on the counter. And that's going to really help it to speed up the ripening process. So um, you can often get an avocado um, ripe in just a day or so uh, by doing it that way. I know sometimes I'll go to the store and I want an avocado for something I'm going to make um, that, you know, the next day or within a day or two and the avocados aren't ripe. So knowing that little trick really helps. All right. So that is done. Let's do the rest of the salsa. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a treat. It feels so decadent to have this for dinner, but it 
it really is, we're getting tons of veggies, fiber, protein. So it really is a healthy choice. All right. Now we have the chips. So you can either sprinkle them on or kind of um, set them around here. I'm going to do that really fast so that you guys can see the finished product. I am so excited to eat this <laughs> for dinner with my husband when he gets home. It's going to be so delicious. Okay. Wow. And there's a few more chips that I'll sprinkle on top later, but just so that you can see the finished product here. Here we go. Um, give me another yes in the comments if you would love to eat that for dinner. I know I will. So again, just click the first link in the description of the video for the full recipe. Multiply it um, if you're going to be serving it to more people. Um, and be sure to follow us for more healthy, delicious, simple, easy, nutritious um, recipes that we post every week. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.